character. Terrific. Uh, Ish, but through the gap at mid-wicket. Nicely timed too by Milan. That's the short side, only 50-odd metres out there, and it trundles into the rope. Yeah, yeah. And he just wanders in and floats one up there. Milan doesn't let him get away with it. Strokes it to the fence. Perhaps just a little bit early season as well. They wouldn't have played any cricket on this pitch. Just, just waiting for it to settle down. Captain a wicket. Nicely driven. Great response from Milan. He's such a stylish player. Yeah, beautiful Into the finish. Tent. Yeah, 10 gone, 3 for 47. Milan. Catch. Slog sweep. That was a helpful, hopeful cry of catch, but it rockets away back with a square. It is, Howie. But no, the... Well, the thing in England is there's the 50 from Milan off 64 deliveries and it's been a classy innings uh, with wickets falling at the other end gorgeous timing such fluency with that cover drive and that is why he's so good to watch when he's in touch this time a pick up over to the leg side and this is what we see from Milan when he gets into T20 mode Playing with the field. This time uh, creates a bit of width and chops down hard on it in the short boundary. The ball was always a chance of winning that race, even though Stoinis didn't have far to move. Width and takes advantage, smacks it away. Mm. That's a no-no. Six for 176. I don't think anyone's touching that score. Oh. Milan looks to go the sweep. He was up and under it, but gets it down to the rope. Continues along to 87 now, David Milan, out of a total of 188. Hey, hey. Milan plays a similar shot, very much the similar result. So a couple of boundaries in a row off Zampa now, into the 90s. Yeah, again, you can see him shuffle across to the offside. Right there. That's his 100. It's a great 100 too from David Milan. Really class innings uh, against some quality bowling today. He came in early on. And so far, he's looked uh, as good as anybody could play on this pitch against a quality bowling attack. That's hit into a gap. Really nicely placed. Got across and climbed into the line there of Ashton Agar. Decides, I'm going big. The biggest of the day for him. Gets it over the fence. It's taken in the crowd. The arms are, are raised. It's time oh, have to a drink. the thirst. Yeah. Why not? You're at the cricket in the summertime. That's what it's all about. Goes big again. And perhaps the biggest. Into the crowd again. It's the front of the members. One hand, one bounce perhaps, but it's another lusty blow to close out the 44th over. David Milan on fire, seven for 247. See, that's a good shot again, isn't it? Uh, that's a big boundary out there. This pitch is right over the eastern side of the ground. That's not a small hit. Right out of the middle. Every time he's gone for that shot, he's hit it right in the middle. It's the call. It's that man, Ashton Agar, settles and accepts it. So a brilliant passage of play by Agar, well by, by Zampa. But uh, there's going to be a wonderful round of applause here for one of the finest innings on this ground by an England player in one day international cricket. Darwood Milan looking to go to the leg side again. Just sliced it. And easily accepted by one of the best fielders in the game. So a nice breakthrough for Australia to take the momentum out. But, uh, yeah, stand and applause. Receive the acknowledgement for a fine innings. 134 in England, 8 for 259.